The enterprise space has changed dramatically over the past year and a half because businesses and organizations have needed to adapt and overcome the pandemic workplace. The top companies that prospered over the pandemic were those that possessed video calling and collaboration solutions. Google Workspaces and Meet, Microsoft Teams, Zoom, 8x8, and 5 9 and Cisco WebEx became a key part of how we work and how enterprise is digitally transformed. This digital transformation has radically transformed how we communicate, and email and IM are not the only top dogs in the digital communication space. Emails are not good at collaboration. They take too long and are too formal. Meetings are the same way, in that meetings have to cater to the collective. Everyone in the meeting has to agree on a time and a place when the time may be across time zones and the place with differing bandwidth or an office. All of that to point out there is a growing need for even better collaboration. Cisco announced today its asynchronous video messaging solution Vidcast as a platform to create effective collaboration. Let's look at how Vidcast is different and my thoughts on Cisco's new communication solution. Not just another social media platform Vidcast is the first product Cisco releases from its WebEx Leap program that adds more startup-like product innovations to the WebEx suite. By startup-like, I mean quicker and bolder. I advise and invest in startups, and it's a very different world. Having a startup inside a large company, on paper, delivers the best of both worlds funding and stability that business customers want. Vidcast is an all-in-one video recording and editing tool to share video messages without requiring a live meeting. It has features for tracking views and adding reactions and comments to better engage with viewers for the presenter. Presenters can capture a screen record or video record with light editing capabilities and easy sharing capabilities. It has navigation tools to jump to relevant moments by using thumbnail navigation, chapters, and jump links. I find video platforms that use thumbnail navigation when buffering through a video to be the most useful. I also think it will be interesting to see how the platform does screen recording since the first phase of Vidcast will be browser-based initially. Cisco says Vidcast has a knowledge content repository to organize, distribute, and manage access to videos. It is amazing how much more information you can consume in video versus text or spoken words. Having a content repository with advanced navigation tools for viewers to access the specific content they need is a game changer. I imagine this being helpful for those few packets of knowledge we all remember but forget the source of and can't find. Another fascinating feature of Vidcast is that automatic playback is 20% faster than the original recording speed with closed captions on.